Christian devotional graphic design, a hybrid art form of images and text, has extended the reach of God's word since the time of the Reformation. Examples of this art form in the university collections include Luther's first German translation Bible, 1535 edition, Berlin Evangelical Mission posters from 1963, and student design covers for Chapel of the Resurrection worship folders. This slideshow features representative selections of these items to illustrate the continuing impact of Christian devotional graphic design. Luther's first German translation of the complete Bible in 1534 embraced the art of graphic design to further the reader's experience of the scriptures. The essay, How Luther Went Viral in The Economist, quotes Luther as remarking, without images, we can neither think or imagine anything. These pages are from the 1535 Wittenberg edition of the Luther Bible held in the Valparaiso University archives. The image on the left is the frontispiece of the Old Testament. This full page woodcut naturalistically portrays the Father God admiring and blessing his creation of the world as described in Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. The other image portrays the fall of Adam and Eve in three episodes, taking the forbidden fruit, hiding from God, and being driven from the garden. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened. In modern times, graphic design is often used to illuminate not only literal biblical content, but also practical applications of the Bible's meaning. This 1963 German Evangelical Church mission poster by Harry Zuchland given to the Brouwer Museum of Art, is a superb example. The photograph is of the copy in the Museum of Modern Art's design collection. Since the birth of Christ, people shake hands differently. This poster headline suggests that Christ inspires helpful handshakes rather than hateful fistfights. The bold shapes and sans serif typeface exemplify mid-20th century international modern graphic design. In addition to evoking the principles of Christ's teaching, Christian devotional graphic design can also enhance meditation on the life of Christ and the life of the Christian. The following images are representative examples of worship folder designs created by Valparaiso University students for the liturgical calendar, the seasons of Advent, Christmas, Epiphany, Lent, Easter, and Pentecost at the Chapel of the Resurrection. To illustrate Advent as a time of preparation for Christ's birth, this image shows Christ as a halo surrounded human fetus in a blue field of shimmering texture. An image connected with an excerpt from Romans that whispers at the very top of the page, the approaching salvation. The night is far gone. The day is at hand. Entering the season of Christmas, a time of celebrating Christ's incarnation, this image places Jesus in the crook of a tree, the tree of Jesse, referenced in Isaiah. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The foliage doubles as angels, and the blue background represents Mary and Joseph. The words of prophecy might be seen as a column of white light 
shining down on Jesus from above, with the Christ child further highlighted by the orange color spilling from the angel's hand to his outstretched hand. This Epiphany student worship folder cover was intended as a general Epiphany image of Christ's divine power, like the hymn. Praise the Almighty, my soul adore him. The student was challenged to apply op art techniques of abstract effects that trigger visual vibrations, suggesting Christ's divine might. So she combined a system of unrelenting, concentric golden circles with a conforming system of parallel red lines that create vibrating effects as they join and spin away through the circles, implying perhaps an encounter between time and eternity. This Lenten student worship folder cover, woodcut, shows Christ as a tiny, lone stick figure, threatened by an overwhelming, splintered, swirling, flashing force. In the context of this slideshow, evil chaos seems to be a counterforce to the good order of the Almighty God suggested in the previous slide. The cover text is an excerpt of the Gospel lesson in Matthew. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. This Palm Sunday student worship folder cover based this striking image of the crucified Christ on the, on the Gospel lesson in Mark, which recorded that in his path as he entered Jerusalem, Others spread leafy branches. But that the epistle lesson in Philippi Philippians stated, Christ humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Using spray paint on palm leaves as a stencil against a board, the student created an image of green, expansive, palm growth, lifting up from the cross the realistic silhouette of Christ's stiff, dead body, an intimation of Christ's coming redemptive resurrection. This Feast of Pentecost student worship folder cover was derived from Acts. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound of a mighty wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Here, streaks of rushing, textured paint strokes crossed the page, pressing like wind. Intertwined is a close-up silhouette of a bird's blue body and wings rising from left to right. Echoing are the tiny, reassuring words of blessing found 15 times in the New Testament. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. 